hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop the next update on i do stay tuned on today's episode while the gardener is watching the plants the new bride comes and instructs him to put the plant in shade back in light and does so herself despite him telling her not to. Just then Ahil arrives and is very angry to find them like that. And when he gets to know that the new bride did this, he lashes out on her. Sanam sees this from a distance and jumps in her defense, saying that had she not, she wouldn't have done this and next time she would take care. But Ahil and Sanam pick it up to put it back. Their eyes meet romantically. The new bride leaves tensely meeting gazella inside who is tensed and then when asked by her gazella what's bothering her she doesn't respond and goes to her room gazella is shocked ahio asks the gardener to get the plants that anvi wants which are drying away and leaves to attend the phone call after he notices sanam's wound and asks her to get it properly treated with a doctor sanam moves to the gardener saying that she wants to do this and that she would go and get the plant for a hill. The gardener points that it's very far away, but Sanam gets the address from him saying she shall manage. Gazala hears this and calls someone. Tanvi is ecstatic when Gazala comes and tells her that Sanam has gone to the nursery and that she has sent one of her men to take care of her. So she never returns. She praises her and then gives her a handsome reward. Gazala is overjoyed. Just then, the phone rings and Razak asks Gazala to put Tanvi on the line. Tanvi asks the new lawyer if there are any loophole in this will. He surprises her by saying there is much there is which might cause Ahil to lose the property. That in one year, if by any chance Ahil's wife dies, all of his properties will go to trust. Hence, they have to ensure that nothing happens to her during this time. Tanvi is shocked and not proud to hear this. Tanvi and Gazala immediately go out in the car while she continues to try to contract the killer number, but he isn't picking up. Tanvi is frustrated and asks her to continue trying. She hopes and prays nothing happens to Sanam and saves her today. Gazala is shocked, thinking that anything is impossible. However, miraculous is, it seems. Tanvi, Sanam, while in the auto driving to the nursery, thinks that for Ahil, she would not just plant but would make an entire garden if that's what makes him happy, as that means the most to her. She finally arrives in the nursery. As she walks around, Sanam is unaware of the killer that Gazala has sent, who eyes her cruelly. He gets Sanam to the closed nursery area. As Sanam picks up flowers and plants in the nursery, the same person turns on poisonous gas and then closes the door. Tanvi and Gazala finally arrive. The killer comes and tells them that Sanam is breathing her last breath, that he did what he was told to do. As Sanam tries to come out, she's unable to, and finally the gas overpowers her and she becomes semi-unconscious, trying hard to scream for help. While suffocating inside the greenhouse, Tanvi and Gazala rush madly to save her, along with Razak. She finally falls unconscious on the floor as the gas begins to take over her nervous system. Tanvi reaches and hollers at them to open the door of the gas-filled chamber. While Gazala and Razak start suffocating and coughing, Tanvi rushes inside and tries to search for Sanam herself. Amidst the smoke, and Gazala asks the person to turn off the gas. Trying to search for Sanam, Tanvi herself has a fainting spell and falls unconscious beside Sanam. Gazala rushes to her while Tanvi grabs for breath. She comes back with water and sprinkles water on her and she gets conscious. She goes to Sanam and tries to get her to come to her senses, but she doesn't. She says that she wanted her to die, but she didn't. And now when she wants her to leave, Sanam isn't responding that she would kill Gazala if anything happens to Sanam. Gazala rushes and is stunned to find Sanam's wounded hands. She tells this to Tanvi, who asks her to focus on getting Sanam conscious as she lies lovingly in lap, Tanvi's lap for the first time. Gazala informs Tanvi that Sanam is alive and she is breathing. Tanvi thanks the Lord profusely. 
They take her out in fresh air. Tanvi is tense, wondering if Sana would wake up or not. Gazala asks her not to be as the Lord is with them. Tanvi tells that once Sanam gains consciousness, she would give a prayer to the dagger. Finally, Sanam opens her eyes and Gazala excitedly tells this to Tanve, who is overjoyed too. She goes on to kiss Sanam in her excitement and loves her galore. Sanam just conscious is shocked at this loving treatment. As Sanam comes inside with Tanve and Gazala, she asks why this sudden change of behavior. Tanve says that a person cares for her enemy only when she is helpless and not out of love, that had it been her will, Sanam would have been dead, but she can't even if she wants to, that she can't kill Sanam even if she wants. As they find that he'll come in, in shocked, Tanvi pretends to be highly concerned and careful and loving towards Sanam, and narrates the entire story of how Sanam was unconscious in the greenhouse, and he is overwhelmed that she went there just to save Sanam. She says that she didn't do this, just for Sanam, but for him too. As if Sanam had died, he would have been very upset, and she can face anything but his sadness. Sanam is upset to find Tanvi gaining his trust, who says he isn't able to believe that Tanvi did this for someone whom she doesn't like. Tanvi pretends to be modest. Sanam is upset. Ahio asks Sanam why she went herself. She says there was a time when she was the center of his happiness, but today she gives him nothing but sadness, that she knew how much this flower meant to him. So she went to the nursery, so she become the reason for the smile on all his happiness, showing him the wilted flower. She apologizes she wasn't able to save it. Ahio leaves angrily. Sanam is tensed. She keeps the flower back on the table and leaves. Ahio returns back and eyes the flower. And when Latif has, is about to come and take it away, he stops and takes the flower from her overwhelmingly. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's update on I Do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.